Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay welcome back so uh, we were discussing uh, equilibrium of a profit maximizing producer if he or she operates in a product market which is competitive in nature right and we have discussed uh, and until uh, where we reached that was uh, when in the short run we were discussing short run we are yet to discuss his long run equilibrium and all so short run we were discussing okay and we reached to an extent where in the short run even if that producer gets some negative profit okay he should not uh, stop production immediately means to some extent he should tolerate that negative profit because it's not he is uh, not tolerate, uh, tolerating that uh, for something else rather for his own betterment okay so two options if he produce some amount some amount means profit maximizing quantity of output what is coming uh, in his calculation in his uh, in his uh, understanding okay using that profit uh, revenue uh, or mr equals to mc and second uh, slope of the mr curve should be less than uh, slope of the mc curve basically the two uh, profit maximizing conditions first order and second order conditions fulfilling those conditions whatever optimum quantity of output he should produce it's coming so he is asking himself whether i should produce that if i produce that i am getting some negative profit vis a vis whether i can stop production okay vis a vis that quantity vis a vis zero amount of output whether i should produce okay and we have discussed since short run there is some fixed cost right so he should produce until that when uh, his uh, total revenue uh, is more than total variable cost uh, so so we can we can whatever we have we have reached in the last lecture we can start with that lecture again so with a diagram let us let us uh, start with the diagram say suppose okay so as usual we are measuring quantity of output q in the horizontal axis and vertical axis all different types of revenues all different types of costs price everything right and say suppose this is average total cost line atc see whenever i am writing atc uh, t i am putting in the bracket why because this average total cost sometimes uh, is known also as simply average cost okay so you can write atc or ac simply okay so, uh, so many books are there where average total cost is referred as simply ac okay so that is why t i am putting in the bracket okay so that is atc curve average total cost curve this is average variable cost curve and this is suppose marginal cost curve okay and suppose this is the situation and this is the average revenue that is identical to price equals to marginal revenue in this particular case right so we know that um, both the conditions or first order and second order profit maximizing condition in this case is satisfied at this point okay suppose that is point e so Uh, so he is getting o o q star amount of output he should produce to maximize his profit now the question is yes if he, he produce this much of quantity his profit will be maximized but what is that quantity of profit what is that amount of profit okay so if i ask ourselves okay so this box area which we have discussed already in the last lecture this box area is basically total revenue because this is the price line amount of price per unit of output and this much quantity of output is producing so that box area of that rectangular uh, shape okay uh, that is total that is representing total revenue okay and when he is producing q star o q star amount of output per unit of output this much average total cost he has to face okay so definitely this larger rectangular area this red colored rectangular area is representing his total cost so definitely revenue minus cost if we take so this red color shaded rectangular area is his profit of course this profit is a negative thing negative profit i am writing 
ok. So, then the question is coming whether he should produce or not ok. So, we, we told that yes in this particular case he should produce because whatever loss or he getting the whatever amount of profit negative that that quantity you know say suppose minus 100 unit right. If he stop production ok to avoid this minus 100 unit profit, if he stop production since some fixed cost is there involved it is a short run discussion right. So, some fixed cost is there we can see that his uh, loss will be even more because in this particular case ok whatever fixed cost he has to incur if he produce a stop production or if he produce 0 unit of output that time what total fixed cost is actually more than the profit this or magnitude of this profit ok absolute value of this negative profit ok. So, we told that he should not stop production rather he should continue he should tolerate that negative profit ok. And when he should stop that condition we have also derived we are asking ok. If he stop production what will be his profit? If he stop production his revenue output quantity is 0. So, total revenue will be price into 0. So, total revenue will be 0 minus since it is a fixed uh, short run case if he stop production how much fixed cost he has to incur suppose that fixed cost is uh, denoted by f. So, 0 minus f that will be his total profit if he produce 0 amount of output. Alternatively if he produce O q star amount of output how much profit he is getting? He is getting total profit whatever revenue he is getting total revenue minus total variable cost minus total fixed cost that profit he is getting right. So, when this left hand side is greater than this right hand side then definitely he should stop production right because this this profit he is getting when he is producing 0 amount of output this profit he is getting when he is producing some positive amount of output like in the diagram O q star kind of thing right or some something else when uh, this right hand side is the uh, total profit right. When left hand side is greater than right hand side definitely he should stop production right. And if we manipulate this equation a bit, so left hand side is basically minus f this greater than revenue minus T V C minus f ok. So, that implies this minus f if I take left hand side, left hand side is basically 0 because minus f or this minus f will be plus f. So, 0 that should be greater than equals to uh, greater than r minus total variable cost right. So, total variable cost if I take left hand side it is basically total variable cost should be more than revenue ok. So, if this is the situation he should stop production ok. This we can both side if I divide by quantity ok this will give you because quantity in any case not equals to 0 ok when he is producing something right. So, left hand side will be average variable cost and right hand side will be price because revenue by, by cost uh, revenue by quantity output. So, price. So, when this is the situation uh, average variable cost is more than price that time he should stop production. In diagram it the diagram how we can represent ok. So, suppose because we do not know where is the price line where is the demand curve is facing that depends on the market demand overall market demand supply scenario and that is beyond the control of this particular producer because anybody in this market producer consumer everybody is a price taker. So, whatever price is coming he has to take that right. So, suppose this is the ATC curve average total cost curve suppose this is the ABC curve and this is the MC curve ok and suppose this is the price line uh, say average revenue is identical to price equals to marginal revenue. Of course, we are measuring quantity this side all the revenues that side all the cost that side price everything we are measuring in the vertical axis as usual suppose this ok. So, look at here in this particular case if he produce uh, some amount of output not 0 amount of output. So, uh, both the first order and second order condition is telling that he should produce this much of output ok. Now, the question is if he produce that much of output how much revenue he will get this is total revenue. How much total cost he will incur this larger box ok. 
huge amount of negative profit right. So, this this green shaded area will be negative profit that time ok. And since this gap is what because this is for that much quantity suppose this is q 1 o q 1 output this is the average variable cost and this is the ATC. So, definitely this gap this gap is the average fixed cost ok. So, average fixed cost and so this this green color box is basically his total cost, total fixed cost ok. So, if he produce his total profit is a negative profit amount is more than the total fixed cost. Look at here negative profit area is basically this blue colored area ok and this green colored area is basically total fixed cost. So, obviously, he should stop production. So, we are getting so here the price line we have drawn because that is not ruled out price line can be that kind also ok because that that is beyond my control me being the producer that is beyond my control right we, I do not know ok. So, that is why so to whatever condition we got average variable cost should be greater than price if that is the case you should stop production that we are re reflecting here in this diagram right if that is the case ok his negative profit will be more than. Uh, if you stop production whatever negative profit you will earn ok more than means more than in absolute uh, absolute value ok ok. So, that is the thing. So, he should so whenever price line will be below the average variable cost line he should stop production ok. So, if that is the case now let us look at what is the supply decision until this we have finished in the last class. So, what is the supply decision of uh, this producer look with a diagram let us let us discuss. So, supply curve if you can remember both individual supply curve and market supply curve we have discussed earlier right. So, supply curve horizontal axis we measured quantity supplied and vertical axis price of that commodity right. So, in this particular case when we are we are drawing his uh, uh, competitive producers uh, profit maximizing decision in a diagram look at here exactly the, that thing we are discussing here we are measuring we are measuring quantity in the horizontal axis and vertical axis many things we are measuring along uh, one of them is the price right. So, we can if we want we can draw supply curve also in this framework let us let us try to draw and this is the MC curve right. See when this is the price line ok how much quantity will produce this much quantity he will produce. When this is the price line how much quantity will produce definitely this much quantity should produce. So, every this much quantity this much quantity we are talking about or referring all these quantities are basically profit maximizing output choice right. Given the price scenario given the market demand scenario how much quantity of output should I produce so that my profit will be maximized in that way ok. So, exactly the same way if this is the price line this much quantity he should produce. Look at here. So, alternatively we are telling that when price is this much this is his quantity production and of course, whatever he is producing that he will supply in the market. When price is this much this much is the quantity supplied when price is this much this much is the quantity supplied and so on right. So, essentially how much supply he will really or he will sub how much amount of uh, product he will supply in the market that depends on what is the price right. And that supply or quantity supply is determined by or that supply amount is moving along the marginal cost line ok. So, this producers marginal cost curve is his supply curve, but not the entire marginal cost curve a segment or selected portion of marginal cost curve is his supply curve which is that selected portion look I know that if price line is this this will be the supply this will be the supply no in that way if price line is this this will be the supply ok in that way supply is falling as price is coming down supply is quantity amount quantity supplied is falling 
okay but until this point right when the, this is price line suppose that price line is becoming just tangent to the lowest point of the average variable cost curve right that time what will happen this much is his optimum supply profit maximizing supply okay this much this much is profit maximizing supply so if he produce this much and supply whatever whatever profit he will get okay if he stop production exactly same amount of profit he will get both are negative exactly same amount. So, at this point when he is or alternatively when this is the price line given the cost structure of that producer right he is indifferent between two options one either stop production or either producing zero unit of output or producing this quantity of output both the cases his profit will be negative and that negative amount is the exactly the fixed cost amount. Okay. So, that time he is indifferent either this much of output or zero amount of output. Okay. But if price goes price line goes even below low, below the average variable cost curve. Uh, okay. So, that time he should stop production. right? So, we can tell that his supply curve is basically when price line is just becoming tangent to the lowest point of the average variable cost curve that time he is supplying either 0 or this amount. Okay. I, I am telling let me repeat either 0 amount of output or this much amount or this much amount of output not in between anything out of this to any of them okay. not in between this much this much this much no either 0 or this much okay. that, that way. But if price line goes even further below then he should definitely stop production and he should produce zero amount of output. So, if we ask what is his supply curve, supply curve will be definitely it is a vertical axis itself okay, until which until until the lowest lowest amount of average variable cost. No, when average variable cost curve here what is the amount of average variable cost definitely this, this is the average variable cost right. So, for this segment price below that his supply is 0. So, supply curve will be coinciding with the vertical axis and at this point there is a gap here. Okay. So, he is indifferent he can produce the at that point or at this point, but if price line goes little bit above he should move along this M C curve. Okay. So, how his supply curve look like? His supply curve look like say this blue color kind of thing this there is a gap and then this this point is basically the lowest point of the average variable cost curve ABC and this is the MC line right. So, we can tell the profit maximizing supply curve of an individual producer whose cost structure is this kind of thing the supply curve is this okay. this there is a gap and this. So, a segment of a portion or a segment of his marginal cost curve or that portion of marginal cost curve which lies above the average variable cost curve. Look, this portion is the marginal cost uh, curves portion which is above the average variable cost and you, you know that this side average variable cost curve and marginal cost curve are starting from the same point that is the case right. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So that's the thing, right? So this portion, this red color portion, this is basically the segment of MC curve which lies above the average variable cost curve. So that is his supply curve. Okay. Profit maximizing supply curve. Okay. So, that is the thing. Now, the question is let us introduce two important concepts here. So, we do not know where will be the price line right say suppose ATC curve uh, ATC curve suppose this is the AVC curve and this is the MC curve. Suppose the price line such that it is just becoming tangent to the lowest point of the ATC curve. Okay. That time what will be his profit? His profit will be exactly 0 because ask yourself this will be the optimum quantity of output 
he should produce and per unit of output this is the price. So, what is the total total revenue? This box area. Okay. And when he is producing at this point, at this point, right, what is the average total cost? Exactly equals to the price, right. So, what is the total cost then? That into quantity. So, whatever total revenue he will get, exactly same amount of total cost he will incur. So, his profit quantity will be 0. So, that is why this point, say suppose B point, we are telling that point is B that is called break even point, break even point, break even point, very important concept. Break even point means that is the point if he operates at that point, he will be just breaking even. Breaking even means what? He could just recover from revenue, he could just able to recover his total cost. Okay? So, break even point, zero profit point. Okay? And at this point, say suppose this point is yes, this point is called shutdown point, S H U T shutdown point. Shutdown point. Shutdown point is why? Because as price line is going even down and down, okay, he should tolerate, tolerate, tolerate. But if it goes below this S point, price line goes below this S point, he should not no longer tolerate negative profit. So he should shut down his workshop. Okay. Let me uh, tell you say when we introduce that uh, competitive market we told free entry free exit right. So, exit and shut down vis a vis shut down what is the difference shut down. Shut down is a temporary phenomena means it is a short run decision that I am stopping my production temporarily and if for some reason tomorrow or in future. Uh, uh, market situation is little bit improved. In this particular case, market situation improved means what? If price increases little bit, right? Then I will start production again. Okay, so this is a short run decision thing, shut down kind of thing. Okay, and exit is a long run thing, permanently exiting the market. Okay, if you try to understand this terminology, shut down any workshop, any any factory, or uh, even your uh, nearby some shop. Okay. They have a in the shop gate, there is a shutter, no metal shutter is there. So, as if because market situation is not that much optimistic, okay. so that is why the owner of that shop is downing the shutter of that shop, okay. that is why shut down. Okay. So, it is a temporary thing, today I am not opening my shop in that kind of situation, in that way you try to understand shut down this, this phrase. Okay. So, it is a temporary decision, it is a short run decision to uh, stop your production temporarily and if tomorrow or in future condition improves, market condition, market price condition improves, I will start production again. That is the thing. Okay. But exit point, exit is a basically long run decision when uh, he will completely leave this business out of the market. Okay. So, exit point we are coming, we are coming. So, you understand? two important concepts we are uh, introducing here, one is called shutdown point, another is called break even point. So, at this point B point is basically he is getting 0 profit. So, all these discussions are short, uh, short run decision, if, if they are counterpart, if it is a long run situation what will happen, what will be his decision making? Of course, just put okay, say, say suppose the, this is the ATC card average total cost, look this is a long run ATC curve. So, that is why it is uh, starting from some uh, finite distance in the vertical axis, right? ATC curve and suppose this is the MC curve. Okay? And since this is a long run situation, what is the ATC curve? That is the ABC curve also. Okay? So, look at here this point, say suppose when price line is at this level, that is the market demand curve, right? this is the price per unit of the output. Right. So, of course, he will be happy, he will produce this much of quantity and he will enjoy some profit. What is the profit amount? Of course, this shaded area will be the profit amount. Right. Now, suppose uh, for some reason say price line becomes this becoming tangent exactly the lowest point of the ATC curve. What will happen at this point? This point his profit will be exactly 0 amount and this is the basically exit point. Why exit point? Suppose if price line even go below right, he will immediately stop production because 
this point exit point suppose this is E point I am telling this exit point as if this is the lowest point of the average variable cost car because here what is the ATC that is the ABC right because there is no fixed cost it is long run situation right. So, he should stop production. So, this point is called exit point ok. So, in the long run ok lowest point of the ATC curve is the exit point because price if go below that uh, that level ok he should stop production and he should exit exit from the market. And since it is a long run decision it is a permanent kind of thing. He is deciding no no whatever product he was producing no I will not produce this product maybe he will uh, start in a new products business or something like that that is the thing in the, it is a long run thing. Now, the question is if long run say suppose this is the price situation what will happen this existing producer is getting some positive profit this positive profit information will attract many potential entrants. Some people know suppose you are never you are this kind of uh, producer right you are never is saying that you, you are getting a lot of profit right that will attract your neighbor to into this kind of business. I am giving the neighbor example, but it may not be never anybody ok who is willing ok potential entrant I am telling right they can enter into the market. So, as a result what will happen? So, when positive profit some of you are earning uh, it will attract uh, potential entrants, entrants will enter into the market, they are they will collectively produce also something say 5 entrants are entering, they are also producing some amount of output of the same product right. As a result market supply curve will shift rightward ok. So, market demand curve suppose is this kind, earlier market supply curve was there and as a result this was the price line right. Now, due to new entrants suppose market supply curve will shift rightward as a result this will be the price line. So, price line will come down ok. So, in this process when this process will stop of course, when this is the thing look at here price line came down here still this producer is getting some positive profit ok. So, that is positive profit information again will attract some other people. In that way this mechanism still some more people will enter in this way that entry will stop when price line comes at exactly this level when he is getting 0 profit ok. Now, suppose some further people enter somewhere or from this level price to this level price suppose so many people enters and price dropped from here to here ok. So, this producer who were getting earlier positive profit he is getting now negative profit and not only he some of the like him may get some similar kind of profit. So, some of them will go out of the market negative profit they will not tolerate because it is a long run situation will go out of the market. When they will exit from the market again market supply curve will little bit shift leftward. So, this mechanism free entry free exit mechanism will make sure that price line becomes the uh, tangential horizontal price line becomes tangent at the lowest point of the ATC curve. Ok, and each of them will get 0 profit. Now, the question is if they get 0 profit, what is the point of doing business? Look, here 0 profit means actually they are earning opportunity cost because the total cost what we have talking about here, we are talking about right, the total cost includes both explicit as well as implicit cost. Implicit cost what we incorporated? Of course, if you do not engage into this business, what is your opportunity cost? say your job offer example we have given right. So, when total cost we are calculating we are incorporating that opportunity cost. So, zero profit means that opportunity cost included zero profit that means if I stop production that opportunity cost I can earn ok and if I do production same amount of opportunity cost in any case I am earning here right. So, it is that kind of situation so nothing to lose of course, when your profit is becoming even smaller than that opportunity cost or your foregone income which you, you could earn by uh, accepting the job offer then you will stop perhaps and you will go to join that job right. So, that is the thing. So, zero profit not on, not necessarily means zero income it is opportunity cost you are earning because implicit cost is involved there in the total cost ok. So, that is the thing that is the thing. So, this mechanism will make sure that in the long run producer is getting 0 profit ok ok. Let us stop here and, and the long run supply curve of the 
this producer supply curve of course this supply curve will be this this portion so green color will be his long run supply curve right there is a break here this there is a break and then this this is his long run supply curve so when we are talking about short run supply curve long run supply curve it is about an individual producer right so how to build a market supply in the short run market supply in the long run those we will discuss in, in our next lecture let us uh, stop here